Hey, it's Chef Austin with EverythingKitchens.com. We've got the Vice President of Hammerstall down here, Bobby. Welcome, Bobby. Well, it's nice to be here, absolutely. All right, Bobby, tell us about these awesome pans that you brought us here. Today. Absolutely, so this is our American Clad Cookware line by Hammerstall. Uh, they're all made in Clarksville, Tennessee. They're a seven ply product. Uh, so we have seven different layers of metal and it's a, what's called a unibody or a full core construction design where all seven layers are uniformly throughout the entire pan so that it heats incredibly even, um, does a nice job on top of the stove. And really the big thing that sets us apart um, is uh, three factors. Um, one, on the outside layer here, we use a uh, steel called 300 series steel. So it's more resistant to thin corrosion than most induction ready cookware. The interior surface, we use a, a unique steel that no one else uses. It's a 316 Ti, uh, no one else in retail, traditional retail. So it's a titanium enhanced steel that's hard, hypoallergenic, uh, virtually non-reactive surface. Wow. And then we have a beautiful hollow handle here that stays cool on top of the stove. And then finally, we hand finish all of our products. So we give it a, a really a, a lot of attention and craftsmanship to the inside cooking surface so you can get a beautiful sear and really easy to clean. Uh, we have a nice assortment here of some of our pans I'd like to share with you today if sure, that's okay. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. So start out kind of with our basic. This is our 10 inch fry pan here. Um, great for, you know, omelets or uh, eggs or you know, if you want to saute a few vegetables or something like that. Yeah, it's you got a, that curved side on there. Absolutely. So you got a nice uh, flat bottom, so you get a lot of uh, action here. And then you got a good curved edge, so if you want to, uh, you know, move product around, this is a nice open skillet to, to, to continue to have action inside of the mm -hmm. pan. So uh, that's our 10-inch fry pan right there. Then we have our 8-inch. It's kind of our baby fry pan. Perfect for doing one egg at a time or, uh, you know, sauteing. Like, I use this uh, a lot of times to to uh, brown like um, you know walnuts or um, macadamia nuts mm, or yes. pine nuts or something like that or if I want to saute, saute some leeks or do something small that I'm going to add on top as a garnish or an additional uh, item yes. to a dish it does a nice job. Now wouldn't eggs stick in a stainless steel pan? You know one of the, the nice things if you use this without uh, you know seasoning it um, and you don't control temperature then certainly it would. Um, but what stainless steel is fantastic at is uh, it does a great job if you use it appropriately. So one, if we didn't season the pan, um, you would just preheat the pan, then you would add your oil um, or your butter, and then you would get it to temperature, and then you would add your egg. Okay? Awesome. Uh, so it will work fine that way. What we've done with this one actually, and there's a little glaze to it, is that we preheated the pan, we added some oil, and then we, they, we basically heated that pan to a whisper smoke and we've seasoned it. So we can literally cook in this pan as if it was nonstick. That's very cool. Um, so yeah, you can season it just like you would like a cast iron or a carbon steel pan. Yes, and you can check out that video where Bobby actually shows us step-by-step -step how to do that so you can make your stainless steel at home nonstick as well. Yeah, it's very cool. It's a great concept that I learned a few years ago and uh, it's really kind of changed the way I approach some of my some of my dishes at my home. So, awesome. Um, and then probably one of my favorite pans is our four quart saute. Um, this is kind of one of our hero pans. It's a staple in every kitchen. Uh, you got uh, good 10 inches of cooking surface here. And uh, sorry, our stove's a little uh, temperamental. <laughs> she doesn't like metal on her. And so uh, she does a really nice job. I, I love this for sauteing vegetables, uh, building uh, you know uh, recipes with a little bit of sauce, if I'm gonna do a roux or something like that, mm -hmm. where I want some good solid vertical side walls to keep everything enclosed. Yeah, that's some nice, that's nice tall job. walls there. Yeah, yeah so absolutely. Be really good for like one pan meals, that's big enough to do it in. Absolutely, so yeah. this is a, the perfect size for that. Probably the most used pan in my home, to be quite frank. I'd, I'd agree, same here. Yeah. So then, um, you know, one of the pans that we're starting to sell a lot more, the Market's really starting to move in this direction. Uh, we're, we're fortunate to work with a gentleman named Andrew Zimmern out of Minnesota. Yes. Uh, yeah, great chef. Um, really has a passion for what he calls culinary literacy, like bringing, um, you know, the, the skill sets and the ideas from the professional kitchens and from his world travels into the home. And he has a great video series called AZ Cooks. And one of the things as I was speaking with him about our pans is he says, you know, the home chef typically chooses a pan that is too small. And so we have this beautiful 13 and a half inch uh, sauteuse right here. So it's double handled side. You can put this inside your oven. Um, you can serve with it, but it gives you 13 inches still with some side walls yeah. where, so if you're going to sear something, it gives you plenty of distance here to get good airflow and airflow is going to equate to better browning, more even cooking and um, just better results overall. And this has become a really popular pan for us. Um, you know, it's a, it's a little bit more expensive than say this this guy right here, 
but it is going to last you forever. Everything that we have has an unconditional lifetime warranty. Wow, that is um, large. And the other nice thing is we do have this walk style or dome style cover that fits on top of it. And we've been cooking out of this all day today. And so it just does a, a great job. So. Beautiful. Absolutely. And it's not too heavy either. No. So one of the misnomers about different plies is that it equates into weight. And we believe in our manufacturing philosophy is that everything should have a purpose. And so, you know, when you go out and swing golf clubs nowadays, they're not heavy. Uh, and uh, certain tools that my, my father's a mechanic, certain tools aren't heavy like they used to be. All, you know, oftentimes weight does not equate quality. And so what we've done is we've designed it to the right thickness so it performs well in the stove. We want our, our pans to be what we call responsive to heat. So if I drive temperature up from my stove, I want my temperature of my pan to rapidly increase in temperature. If I pull temperature down, I want it to, to change temperature with me. So I want it to be responsive so that as I'm cooking, it's doing what I need it to do. And uh, it does a, a really nice job. And there's gonna, there is some heft to this. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing that reducing the weight is we use hollow handles versus uh, stainless yes, uh, cast yes. handles. And so since they're hollow, that reduces anywhere between 15 and 20% of some of the weight of the pan. Yeah. So it does a nice job. And the other nice thing is since it's hollow, it's not going to burn your hand when you go to grab this off the stove. That's correct. So under normal cooking condition, now if you've got, you know, a, one of these gas burners that have 30,000, 40,000 BTUs and you've got the flame shooting up the side. Don't touch. <laughs> you set your pan on fire, it's probably going to warm up. It's still metal. But, you know, using an electric or induction or traditional gas stove, as long as your burners, your flames underneath your pan, uh, these are going to stay cool to the touch uh, under normal cooking conditions, so it does a nice job. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I am fast in the kitchen and I don't have time to grab towels. So. Fair enough, fair yes. enough. So then the, the three-quart sauce, uh, saucepan right here, another one of our staple pans. It's got nice deep sides, um, a little bit wider base um, than a traditional three-quart, and we like that because we feel like it gives us the ability to manage, uh, you know, reducing sauce, but also kind of quickening it up because a little bit more surface area allows us yes. to do it under control because we're still nice and tall, but a little wider so we can speed up that process just a little bit. So uh, this is a great must-have pan. Yeah, you really, everything around really put some thought behind that. We, awesome. we really have. So in fact, even how we designed the, the, how the covers fit and the lip here, they don't drip. So if you're pouring sauces off. It's or, not gonna just dribble down the side of the pan. It's actually gonna go into the right. vessel you want. Absolutely. And that's that's good for cleanup, but it's also really good for safety. A lot of folks, times will, uh, folks will be pouring off you know, excess grease or something like that. And if it hits a hot burner, uh, depending on the type of burner, you could get a little bit of a, a flame up. Mm -hmm, and that that mm -hmm. can be dangerous. Or you could burn yourself, which is even uh, even worse. So, um, And then finally, a pan that, this has really become one of my favorite pans in my home. Um, and I, I'll tell you what I like about it. It's a five quart, salt, uh, five quart sauce pot. And what I dig about this pan is that, and I know this sounds crazy, and you may laugh at me, Austin, but um, oftentimes if I'm gonna make, say, mashed potatoes or a comfort food in my home or do uh, make some homemade soup or something like that. Oftentimes I don't, I feel like it's a little bit more effort to pull out a large eight quart or oh, 16 yeah. quart. And right. I feel like I'm, when I'm doing it just emotionally and mentally, it's like, okay, this is like a lot of work. Yes. When I pull out the five quart, it's simple. I, and I also don't feel like I'm gonna overcook a lot of food. Um, I can cook enough chili for the family of four and maybe have one leftover and not two times of leftovers. Yes. <laughs> um, if I'm gonna make some a, a small thing of pasta for just the four of us, it's the right size to get the pasta done with still enough volume of water so that we don't get extra starch into our, our pasta dish. Um, it does a nice job for, uh, you know, roasting like a, a small chicken even. Ooh, um, I idea. love this pan. So it's it's not overwhelming in size, it's got nice vertical side walls. Um, and does just a really great job. I have find myself three or four times a week now in our in our home using this pan. It's kind of become my go-to instead of a traditional Dutch oven. Oh, kind of wow, my okay. go-to for kind of a smaller version yeah. of, of that pan. And because hope, you could put this directly into the oven off of the stove. Absolutely, all yeah. of ours are definitely oven safe. Um, they, you can cook on any type of uh, you know hob or, or stove top, electric, gas, ceramic induction doesn't matter that is so. fantastic yeah and these are all made in the usa hand finished absolutely so, so clarksville tennessee uh we're really proud of that uh we've been making this cooker um we've been making cooker for a really long time brought american cloud to the market like i said in 2015 we buy all u.s steel so uh, we don't source any steel from overseas uh, so we buy all of it from allegheny pennsylvania we're really proud of that as well we want to make sure we choose the premium 
raw materials for our product. And then uh, we wanna make sure that we manufacture it in such a way that you get optimal performance. And then we back it with truly the best warranty in the industry. If you, if you mess up one of our pans, you know, if you, you know, do something to it, it's hard to imagine what you could mess up. Right. But if you mess up one of our pans, we're gonna take care of it right away for you. That's fantastic. So this is something you could pass down from generation to generation and it's still gonna do just a good job. But we literally manufacture our product with that in mind. We want you, when you invest in this cookware, we want your family to pass it down a generation. Uh, we believe this is heirloom quality uh, and we manufacture it with that kind of mindset in our facility. And that's why we have craftsmen, not just employees, touching our pans every step of the way. Uh, they hand inspect this probably 17 to 20 times, depending on which pan it is, all the way through. And we reject pans at each stage of our manufacturing wow, process. Wow, wow, that is awesome. It's truly a craft pan. It's it a is. small business craft pan. I love it. Yeah, family driven, family owned. Average employee's been with us over 20 years. Plant manager's been with us over 43. We're, we're proud to make this quickly. That is super cool. Bobby, thank you so much Absolutely. for teaching us a little bit about Hammerstall and showing us all these awesome pans. Guys, if you have any questions for me or Bobby, you can leave them in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time.